Hey everybody, it's Zangano once again from Zangano vs. Starcraft, or Zangano431.tumblr.com, and this is another commentary between Fanatic Phoenix, up here as the Red Terran, and down here as the Blue Protoss, we have C.O.L. Cruncher, a very controversial, well, no, I don't even say contro- Is it controversial to be hated by Idra? I don't think it is anymore, but he is a very solid Protoss player that is rather new to the scene, at least in my mind. Of course, the second I say that, somebody's going to be like, oh, well, actually, you know, he's been around for ages and you're just a terrible person because you don't know who, um, what his name, when he, with his clan, it just looks like his name is Colonel Cruncher, which I think is one of the coolest names ever. So, Phoenix, obviously, uh, building... 10 supply depot, nothing um, nothing new going on. I mean, at this point in the game, you can't really do a whole much. Uh, this is on Sellout Caverns again, which apparently seems to be just the popular thing to do on my channel, Probe Scout going up there, which is a, of course, it's a very good map. I actually like uh, Sellout Caverns to cast on. It's just the different attack paths and things make interesting gameplay mechanics like counterattacks and uh, all sorts of different strategies work out, and I... I I, the only thing I don't like about it is it's not really awesome for air harass, but, you know, no one's perfect. As you can see, Rax going down for Phoenix. Over here, we should be getting the gate. It's at about 14 supplies. That's actually a really late gate. Yeah, you gotta get it then again, as I say over and over again, he is the professional player, and I am the Zerg player in Gold League. So, you know, that's just how... <laughs> that's, uh, that's how much my opinion is worth, right? So as you can see, gas going down, uh, which could be a sign that we're going to either get either a fast marauder, uh, reapers, or probably most likely reapers, and of course I'll be wrong, um, he could also just be going for a fast factory, or that could just be the standard timing for gas, I don't know, it seems a little bit early to me, but, um, you know, that's how I roll. Uh, first marine coming out, so for Cruncher. We got, of course, the second pylon being ready. He is supply cap, which is not awesome. And his chrono boost is up, so this is going to be a real rough for him. And his first spell is should be coming out as soon as he has the supply. And no, he's not. He's definitely the late gateway. And the timing of his... I think he's going for either a... Uh, I think he's going for either a four gate of some kind, but um, his macro is either slipping. Or he's going with a really economic build that I have never seen before. Either way. I a little bit of lag there. So, playing a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie in the base until the Stalker comes out. really going to do. He has gas capped Phoenix, which is going to prevent any higher tech reactor going down for Phoenix, which is a sign that we're going to see a lot of Marines. So this is probably more for a factory than anything else. Uh, we have Phoenix... Leaving the base, keeping his SCV intact. Just as the Zealot is about to finish in a century, wrapping up right afterwards, and we've got Warp Gate being researched, which means Chrono boosted, so we are going to see a fairly standard Protoss move of getting it as fast as possible. SCV returning to the line. Marines being pumped out two at a time. This is going to be very high production for our Terran Brand, and he's going to use it to take out that gas. Now, Phoenix also has hidden this tech. He's obfuscated the tech, if you will. And he has put down a tech lab on here, so he is going to be making Marauders, purely because if you play against Protoss, you know you're going to see a lot of Stalkers. And Marauders, even even if there isn't Stalkers, they're just a general good all-purpose ground unit. They slow, they do good damage, and they have a good chunk of health, which makes them just overall awesome. As you can see, two more gates going down for Phoenix. I'm oh, sorry, it's Cruncher, not Phoenix. Right here in this corner. And of uh, course, that gas cap will be going down. So you can say that that gas cap did force him to go with a more marine heavy army, but Phoenix, not slowed down in the least, is going to push out. And Cruncher is going to have to defend really well. He does have two sentries with energy, so he does have a decent amount of shield, uh, force fields to hold back the opponent until 
gets an army ready to go. And Warp Gate is just finished, so as soon as those gateways finish, he's probably going to be able to easily defend this, as long as he can get these force fields in a good spot. Of course, I have been wrong with Laura, and this could actually just be the entire game. I don't know. But uh, I doubt it. It's just a little bit of poke. Prevent him from expanding and such. He does get one read on top of the force field, which gives vision up on the higher ramp, but he still is not in a position where he can shoot. The sentries do focus on killing the marine, and he is walled. Nothing that they can do now. So, what is the next step for Phoenix? Well, Phoenix is coming down a bunker because he knows probably going to get pushed at some point. He does have a factory down. He has a star port down. All of that while he was pushing. So, now we are going to see, well, you see only marines coming out there. He does have uh, the concussive shells research, but he does not have skin pack or shield. He has a tech lab going down onto his factories, likely going to switch these up so that he can get banshees, which is a fairly decent tactic. These uh, banshees are good. And I even just said earlier that the map was too awesome for air harass, but of course, I say lots of things. So Cruncher, after a little bit of delay, has expanded. He's probably going to attack to justify his expansion because Phoenix is probably going to want to expand around the same time. He is pushing out, so the... Yep, there's the commands that are being built by Phoenix. And Cloak being researched for the Banshees. These Banshees are going to do a lot of damage. These uh, things moving around... I wonder if he actually was looking for uh, proxy pylons? I guess this is like a well-known spot now to hide a proxy pylon, so he goes up to take it out and take it out really easily. But this push is going to come up the, side, the middle here, and he's not going to see it until it's too late, unfortunately, which means that oh, he's retreating, actually. And probe going forward to see where his army is, and he sees no army. He's going to be thinking, oh my, that is not a good thing. He doesn't know where this army is, doesn't know how big it is, but... In a situation like this, he's going to be like, well, I expanded, and he made an army, or he didn't expand, so either he's building his expansion in there, or he's supposed to check it out. He does get blocked by the bunker, so we're not going to see, uh, he's not going to be able to get an idea about how big of an army he's fighting, so he does call off the attack to take the Zelnaga Watchtower, and his contain is a bit uh, thrown off now. Ooh, we do see a Banshee in here with the undefended base of Cruncher. Phoenix getting a few probe kills, but the probes do well get off. He does cloak, and since the observer has a couple seconds until it comes out, he can shoot, but as soon as the observer comes out, that thing she is screwed, and now it has to retreat. Uh, is he going to kill it? Probably not. He just takes off on his own. Probably send it back home to get repaired, and or we just wait there for a little bit. So, Phoenix... Not both of them trying to do tactics of containment and harassment, and neither of them sure that he is salvaging that bunker and moving forward to take his expansion now that he has orbital command. The well entrenched position of Phoenix is now solidified, and they're still both neck and neck on their supply, hovering in the mid 70s range. He does come back with another banshee to do another harassment. But this time he's going to be prepared. He's going to have another army there to try and take it out. But of course, the banshee gets away. This banshee decides to go home to go get repaired. As is this, this, this one. So, the banshee harass. Not too successful. A few probe kills. Maybe not to justify building two banshees. I don't think so. But uh, as I said about the whole thing about being a professional. And of course, he didn't know that it, if it wasn't going to work beforehand. He does, make this push out. he does have a decent, good military here. He is going to be facing off against this with the Colossus. Is that Colossus real? I guess it is. Does he have range 9 death lasers? He does not. So if he can get into a good position, he can take out that Colossus. The range isn't even being built, but there is another Colossus in production. He does call off the attack because he sees the Colossus and he decides to take this on Lego Watchtower to instead, which is fine. After seeing that, he does now know, though, He's going to have to put up a reactor on a on his starport so that he can make Vikings to fight that uh, to fight that Colossus. Uh, meanwhile, in Cruncher's base, we do have the second Colossus coming out and a decent uh, army of stalkers, zealots, and 
centuries, you know, your typical gateway army. We do see that Phoenix does see now the proxy pylon and is going to, to use these banshees, which are severely damaged, to take out the zealot and for scouting probably. Um, the warp and the stalker are this one of them. And now he's going to take out that pylon with his small army. Phoenix. Still, in the end, this could be anyone's game. They're still neck and neck. Uh, Phoenix is a little bit ahead of the group, but that's nothing that is too huge. We do see a lot of chrono boost energy, though, for Cruncher, which is a sign that he could be falling behind, especially. Uh, is psy capped again and he has to build two more pylons so that's the second time he has been psy capped and now that he's probed there he is macro is starting to slip which is surprising because i thought cruncher is really a player i believe he took out the intro which is not an easy feat and we do have on phoenix's base four racks five racks sorry and uh more in and a ghost academy for EMPs, obviously, and one factory that's kind of just chilling, you know, doing its thing, because he's not really fact focusing on much factory units in this game. So, second base is well up and saturated. We have an Evo chamber down over here. We have two more racks in production. Heavy, heavy infantry, despite the fact that he has lots of colossi. Hopefully, those Vikings will be able to manage. To lost right, but he has lots of stalkers to take out the Vikings. So it's all going to come down to who has more stuff and who knows how to micro and prioritize their targets. Fourth Colossus going up against a army like this. It's going to be a very, very hard game uh, to out uh, outfight that. Uh, that ball, that first out death ball, is very strong and uh, without some, some awesome positioning. Phoenix could be in a lot of trouble, and now that he's trying to take his third, he is going to get a uh, push here, and this, this is rough, I don't think he'll die, but even Phoenix, of course he'll go down, he does retreat, but he uh, does lose his third, which is uh, pretty bad, I would not recommend doing that, it's not a viable strategy. Uh, he does lose all of his uh, Vikings, save for two, and his army damage retreats. Uh, Cruncher in a huge lead right now, despite Phoenix having a large food advantage. These Colossus are just doing so much damage. They just wipe out a whole bunch of SCVs, putting Phoenix way, way behind in by Cruncher. Equaling it out because uh, Cruncher did not make many uh, probes. So he does manage to just barely take out his army and he can now go focus on taking out the natural, which would basically be the end of Phoenix's reign if he can lose his natural. Then Cruncher's free to take his third and really reinforce this attack, but his army is really small. So the fact that he lost almost all of his colossi is pretty sad because that means that. That the various reinforcement of four stalkers. So I'm not sure if that Colossus goes down and giving a rough spot. Uh, he retreats. So Phoenix able to save his natural expansion, but loses his third and most of his army. Meanwhile, Cruncher loses everything but one Colossus and three stalkers. His entire army is dead. You can see a drop going on in the natural. Just three marines enough to shut down all mining at the natural for a little bit until the army returns to defend. As you can see, full chrono boost energy on the natural. And oh my goodness, I didn't even see this. He did a ton of damage. He took out his main. I did not even see this. Uh, Phoenix pushing forward with his small army, knowing that Cruncher has no economy and very little units to defend himself. He does come into the base, but uh, this is, I don't know if this is really going to stand up against that. That is a large army, so we do push him, he does run in, and this is Marauder, so he does need to fight the world pretty well, just because this is not a overwhelming majority, but pulling the pros up the line, Cruncher does lose more probe, and he's already behind on workers, way behind on workers, he's down to 8 pros now. If this 
Colossus goes down, that's essentially a game, and that would be GG. And good game between Cruncher and Phoenix, and I will see y'all next time.